Okay, so what's up, people? I'm going to break this down real quick. If you're having an audio issue with Sony Vegas, when you go to uh, render, you only get audio that comes up. So, like, if I go to here, and I go to make movie, right? Save it to my hard drive, right? So, it looks like it's going to be video. I click here, but you see this is 7. This is obviously way too small. So, that means it's going to be uh, just a WAV file. You know, like, if I click advanced audio options, I mean, advanced options, you see there's no video templates. These are all audio templates. So, it only renders all my video as um, audio. So even if I go here and I click video templates only, you would think that it was showing them over here, but it still wouldn't show them. So this was real frustrating for me trying to figure out what the problem was until I figure out what the problem was is that um, it's none of this, actually. It's none of this. What it is is how you open up the project. So a lot of these different video clips as you see here have different sizes. So um, like you see the project is on 1280 by uh, 720. Uh, and some of these are different size uh, clips. So, for example, uh, what is it like this one? For example, is let's see properties. I believe like six forty. Uh, let's see media. Is it right? See, this is six forty. You know, but the project is twelve eighty. So, uh, like this one, I believe is a different size as well. Like they all have different sizes. But this plays into when you go to render it. You kind of confuse the program so if you don't um specifically set it up right see this is 1280 so you see like this one's 640 this is 12. so depending on how this project was set up this project was set up at 1280 <clears throat> but because it's 640 the way it got rendered down is uh it's kind of backwards so it won't it got confused so the way to fix this is basically you have to open up a whole nother project a brand new project and you see this is basically the same 1280 but now this is the first clip the same clip it says, do you want to set your project front? This is 640. So no, I don't want to set six. So no, I'm going to click no. Um, you have to do it. your own project. Sometimes you might click yes. Sometimes you might click no, depending on your project. So you have to set that out. But you basically have to set up this whole new project like this. And um, now I have the video in there at 640. And then what I did is I went into the old project and copied all of the old. You basically have to recreate the whole project again. But instead of having to go and do all your clips, just cut, just select all, you know, I'm doing all of them except for the first clip because the first clip is already in there, which is this. So I copied all the rest of them. And then I go over to here. And I go right here. And I right click paste. And you see it paste all of them in there. So let me bring this up so it's nice and neat. And right. So now I have all of them in here. So when I go to file make movie now and save it on my hard drive and mp4 you see it's bigger now at 743 so you know it's more accurate that's a bigger size file versus in the old project when i did it it did um make movie save it on my hard drive you see mp4 you see it's only 11 so you obviously see that's a wave file so you see in here the file is obviously bigger it's 743 so um yeah, so when you render this down, it should uh, it should do it now. So now I, when you go to uh, advanced options, you see I have all my video options down for MP4. So they're all up there now. So I hope this video works for you. Uh, hopefully it makes sense so you don't have to do your whole project over again. You can just copy it and paste it into a new one. And, uh, you know, make sure you set up uh, your um, project template correctly from the beginning. If not, it'll confuse the program. I hope this makes sense. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.